The Rubber City Roller Girls are a hardcore roller derby team part of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. I got the chance to talk with two members of the Roller City Derby Girls, Kiwi KO and Valkyrie. Okay, so can you guys just basically tell me a little bit about the Val and what it is? I don't really know that much. Like how roller derby works? Yeah. All right, so you have a team of four, let's say red, and a team of four black, and then each team has a jammer, which is the girl with the star on her helmet. So you're trying to help your jammer through and stop their jammer at the same time. Okay. She's, every lap she makes after her first lap, she's getting points for it. Oh, so it's like a point system. Yep. So how do you win? Having the most points. Okay. <laughs> at so, the end of the game. Okay, so is it like a clock time kind of thing? Um, it's called a jam, each like little round we uh -huh. play. And so you would go out for no more than two minutes. But if I get through first, and maybe I'm considered the jammer then, right. I can call it off when I tap my hips, okay. and then the jam stops. So it could be 30 second jam, it could be a two minute jam, but no more than two minutes. Okay, yeah. so the whole thing yeah. is basically keeping the jam row back. Yes, so you wanna, okay. your, your first priority is always keep like that bra behind you. Her out. Yes, yeah. yeah. so you can yeah. slow her down, you can knock her out, you can take her back if you knock her out. So if I'm right here, she can throw her shoulder back, just call it a can opener. You can imagine why, do it again. Do it like mean it. Oh. Oh, see, right there. So she can do that, or she can use her butt. That's my specialty. I'm not letting her by. You have what? Knee, knee, wrist, elbow, mouth guards, which I don't have in right now. Okay, so you guys uh, wear mouth guards? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And your helmet. Um, you can wear extra things. Some girls wear padded shorts. Uh huh. Um, that has like tailbone <laughs> protection. Me. Because a lot of times when you fall, you go like this, and then you fall <laughs> okay, on your butt. Right on your butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Or if you're on the receiving end of a crowd pleaser, then you might end up on your rear. So right. um, there's extra padding you can wear, but what you see on us minus the mouth guard is the minimum. Okay. So like that's required. Yep. For yes. Okay. What made you guys want to do roller derby? I watched her. Oh, <laughs> stop it! No, seriously, I came. I came to about with my family, and I saw it, and I could follow the rules. And I thought these women are amazing, and this looks like something that I can do. Um, so I okay. went and got info, and then they put out a recruiting post on Facebook, and I looked at my spouse, and I was like, No, I can't do that. <laughs> and he was like, Do it. You can do this. And, here you are. Here I am. I just want to ask you guys about you know, the negative stereotypes that some people have against roller derby. I'll throw it out there. Um, I went to high school with a girl and she did roller derby in another state. Um, and I talked to her about it a few years ago. And I'm, How did you get into it? This yeah. is so cool. And she told me horror stories about their initiations and how negative and nasty and mean and they beat them down. So I went into this as a pledge thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to pay my dues, they're going to kick my butt, this is going to be gonna horrible. Haze you. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be haze. Man, these women open, open arms welcomed me in like I was one of them the first night. Um, and I don't know if that was just me. I just fit in and found my people because that's kind of what I feel like. Right. Um, but I was scared going into it. I had like this preconception that, oh no, they're, they're this cool club and I have to be a cool kid. No, I was welcomed in right away, immediately. Like, I don't think we're nearly as scary as we look. Yeah. I don't know, we all have day jobs, we have lawyers, we have hairdressers, we have stay at home moms, I work retail, like, everybody has life outside of Derby, but Derby kind of becomes your life, but these people are my family, and I probably never would have met them otherwise. Like, we're just an odd collection of variety, but we must have, like, a common denominator of inner crazy that makes us want to hit other people. Um, but drink it's the Kool-Aid. Yes, we drank the Kool-Aid, and now we want to hit other people, but, I mean, the best part of like practice is like the sisterhood and just, the, I don't know, these are my family. This has been Katie Bowman from Lights, Camera, Akron.